Hi everyone, I'm Daniela and today's video is going to be about macrame coasters. Uh, I've been seeing this style of coasters a lot on Pinterest. Uh, they have a really cool boho feel to it. Uh, so I decided to try to figure uh, how to make them and show you how you can make them as well. Let me start off by saying that these are a work of patience. Uh, as it usually is with macrame. I recommend binge watching a TV show while you're making this, uh, but uh, I think they are totally worth the time and even if you have the patience you can make uh, a trivet. That would be really cool as well. Before we start, if you do make them, I would love to see it, so uh, please send them to me on Instagram at curlymade or just tag me and uh, I will share everyone's photo on my stories. Enough said, remember that the list of supplies is in the description box below and let's get started! This is the cord that I'm using, I got it from the hardware store, um, it's completely made out of cotton and the thickness is about 3 mm. Cut 5 cords with 90 cm each and another one with a bit more than 2 meters, um, about 230 is probably fine. Grab one of the smaller cords and fold it in half. Get another one, fold it in half as well and use it to make a large knot like this. Put one of the cords under the other one and pull the ends through. Make sure to leave a small loop at the edge of the first cord so you can pull the string through it later. Repeat the same knot with the other 5 cords left. Try to keep them even and you don't need to tighten them too much at this point. Lastly, add the longer cord. I didn't remember this until later, but to save your cord and to have a bigger piece to work with, you can fold and tie it closer to one of the edges. Here's a clip of what I mean. I folded it with one end much shorter, same as the other cords, and the other super long, so I can tie it all around the coaster piece. Once you have all the cords tied to that first one, grab the ends of it and pull them through the loop. You'll need to close the circle by pulling all the knots together. If you tied the knots somewhat loosely, this will be easier to do than it was for me, since I tied them too tightly, so it's a do what I say, know what I do type of situation. <laughs> Next, using a handy cork trivet, I pinned the center of the cords to the center of the trivet. This will keep the cords from moving around too much, facilitating your work. I then just separated each strand to its side. Now we're gonna start knotting everything together. The knot that I'm gonna use for this whole thing is a double half each knot. Grab your longer cord, this one will be the filler cord, pull it over to the right over the others, take the nearest cord that is under and tie it over the filler one. Hold the filler cord and pull on the other cord to tighten. Repeat the same step to create a double knot. It should look like this, with two round loops side by side. Move on to the next nearest cord and repeat the process until you reach the beginning part again. Once 
Once you reach the beginning, you can see that there is a big gap between the chords. So you will need to add another chord to fill it. Grab a new chord with 90 cm and fold it in half. Do a large set knot like this and attach it to the filler cord. Then just continue with the regular double half each knot until you get another gap to fill. Every time you feel like you have to pull on the cords too much to reach each other, it means that you should add a new cord. You only need to add those pretty much every other cord in certain parts of the coaster. Flash forward to maybe an hour later uh, to when the coaster had the size that I wanted. I trimmed the excess cord and I tried to get good scissors to do this and then I proceeded to come through the cords to get that frayed look. Problem here was that, as you can tell, my cord is all twisted, which meant that when I tried using a comb to brush the threads, nothing really happened. They were still all together, so I had to painstakingly separate the threads by hand and this took me so freaking long. So moral of the story, if you can try to choose a cord that doesn't have twisted strands, it will save you so much time. Once you get the whole thing brushed through, get your nice sharp scissors and trim the whole thing as even as you can. Flip it over and cut any cord that escaped. And there is it! these pictures of the finished result, I realized that these also look fantastic under vases, so as a suggestion maybe make one a bit bigger, so it shows more from underneath the pot. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did let me know by giving a thumbs up and comment down below any suggestions that you might have. Uh, I kind of have some dilemma going on, it's that I love the look of these, but I'm kind of afraid of getting them dirty and I'm wondering if I should spray some fabric protector or something like that. Let me know your suggestions and I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> Bye!